Well, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I thought I'd just try the vlogging thing again. I've got absolutely nothing to talk about, so I don't really know what I'm going to talk about, but I'll just chat on my way into town. You may have probably noticed that I have a new crash helmet and a new little camera. I decided to buy an HJC V10 helmet and a 10C Evo to go with it because where I bought it from they were doing an offer so you get the VAT off the the 10C Evo so I ended up getting a 10C Evo for about £230 I think or £220 and the helmet was 299 for this HJC V10, which I must admit is so much more comfortable than my old one. My old one was only a cheap stealth one anyway, but yeah, this is really nice, really nice crash helmet. And I'm just getting used to using the 10C Evo slightly better video quality obviously than my 10C but it keeps beeping at me and I'm not sure why I don't know whether it's the volume control spinning round into maximum because it's making the same noise as if the maximum volume but yeah I don't know I don't know it'll take a little while to get used to it I guess won't it so I couldn't fault the old 10C really, apart from the battery life and the video quality. If the video quality being up up to this sort of level, I probably wouldn't have bothered replacing it because you can plug the cable into a battery pack anyway. But yeah, it was it's nice to be able to film in something a little bit higher than HD. There you go, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear those beeps. I don't know if they come across on the um, on the video or not. But yeah, slightly annoying. So I've just got to try and work out what that is. But yeah, what else have we been up to? We went to the Vintage Nostalgia Festival last weekend. I've got a fair bit of footage of that that I'm going to try and put put together in a montage of um, photographs that I took and um, video footage of we did a little ride out with the three little two strokes which was fun just a slow ride round the back lanes but that was good fun Lisa came on the back of the GP100 well she went on the back of my friend Paul's RS200 to begin with and then swapped over onto mine just to see how it would cope and surprisingly I mean it's not going to win any races it won't win any races with just me on it but with the both of us on it it was fine it was all right you know if you don't want to go more than 40 mile an hour and you don't mind slowing down into second gear to go up any slight incline but <laughs> no it was fine I'd, I'd ride it into town with the two of us I think it could be fun. As long as you didn't have to go out of a, say, a 40 mile an hour speed limit, I think it would probably be all right. Oh, there we go, another beep. I've got to work out what these beeps are. Drive me up the wall. If anyone watching knows what these beeps are from the 10 C Evo, please let me know. I, again, I don't know if it'll come out on the video, but if it's not showing on the video, the noise it's making is like it's like when you turn it to maximum volume. When you turn the volume up to maximum and it does a full high pitch beep, 
that's the noise it's making every so often. And I don't know whether it's because I obviously don't have a, another intercom connected to it at the moment. So that's the noise it's making because it can't connect to the other intercom that it's trying. This is our wonderful cathedral. The one that the Russian tourists came to see back when they visited another Russian person with um, some Novichok. I'm going to, on my next trip out, I'm going to set the volume and I'm going to stick a bit of tape on that just to make sure that it's not um, that. I'll, I'll know then, won't I? If it's still making a noise, then it's not the volume. So apologies if there's beeping all the time. Please bear with. I'll make sure it's all sorted eventually all you YouTube vloggers that vlog away and just chat away I don't know how you do it I don't know how you manage to just keep talking I suppose you've got something that you want to talk about for a start that might be my problem I need to have a plan now I sound like a politician campaigning for the election. We've got a plan. The plan is working. I have no plan. And that's why I just waffle on a load of rubbish. the other side of that coach over there. Okay, right, well, I'll just go and do what I've got to do. And then um, I'll be back out on the bike. Catch you in a bit. Oh, busy in town today. So I just took a call on my 10C and it was at maximum volume, even though you've watched me turning the volume down uh, on the video, you know, on the previous video before I stopped, I've been turning the volume down. So I think that's what the problem is, I think the wheel is maybe a little bit sensitive so I'm going to have to resort to some tape to hold the wheel in place quality engineering Senna taking a step backwards like they always do with every new thing they bring out from what I've been reading 
but I'm going to persevere with it and make because the video quality I think is worth worth the hassle. You may notice I've got a new um, new mount for the DJI as well. It goes off the edge of the mirror, or goes off the bottom of the mirror on a little ball swip, ball joint there. That's so I don't have this monstrosity sticking up in front of me like I did in the first video that I did with it. So that seems to be much better. I've also got a little... Um... There we go, see? Maximum volume again. I've also got a little swivel. I think I'll show you while I'm stopped here. A little swivel that I can swivel it round. So you can just um, have it facing forward. Like that. And then just spin it back round if you want to. Or have it at any angle is quite good. So you may be able to hear the only fault I can find with this HJC V10. There is it anything above 20 mile an hour, it whistles. When the wind, you can hear that whistling. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I, I did read one review where someone said they couldn't put up with it because of that whistling. But all I do is do that. So now you can hear it still whistling a bit, but as soon as you knock it down a bit, it doesn't whistle. And to be fair, anything 30 mile an hour or above, I've usually got the visor down anyway, or at least sort of open slightly like it is now for a bit of air but I'd rather not have a bug smacking me in the face anyway at that speed so it's not a reason to hate the helmet I think it's absolutely fine I may buy a smoked visor for it uh, I could just put sunglasses on so I don't miss the internal visor and it's actually made the, the helmet, the physical size of the helmet, because I, I wear an XL anyway, because I've got a bloody great head. The, um, it doesn't look anywhere near as big as my old one did. So I quite like that. Anyway, that's probably just about it, really, for today. I, it was only a very short meant to be a short video um, I'd just like to say thank you to all the recent subscribers it's nice to know that some people want to watch me ride around or talk rubbish but yeah I haven't bothered doing or I haven't thought about doing a review on the HJC because there's plenty of reviews already out there a review on the 10C Evo there's already loads out there but if you want to see you know if you want to see my views on it then just put something in the comment and in a comment and just and you know I'll see what I can do um, yeah I'm gonna like I say I'm gonna put together that uh, vintage nostalgia video as well the montage with some photos and that but I, I will have a full-length video of the of the whole ride that the four of us did on three bikes if you'd like to see that as well then I'll put that up but yeah and um, I'll probably put it up anyway but just because if I've got it there then I know I can always get to it if I ever wanted to show someone it or whatever so I'm, I do this you know because I quite like enjoy playing with the editing and stuff like that but yeah if, if 
there's people that like to watch it then that's brilliant so thanks again um, if you would like this video just like please give it a like and um, if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel I don't put out an awful lot of content but as and when then at least you'll know when I've put it out thanks again and I'll catch you in the next video thank you bye bye